what everyone else thinks. Hey, I hope. I wish we could be there. I wish I could be in that. Or is it uh, like spiritual on the spiritual side? Uh, I think it's everything. Oh, it's everything. I mean, because I mean, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of sites that include everything, even like TD Jakes and people, you know, pastors, I guess. Um. All right. Well, can you imagine? I, all I'm saying, if we can inspire anybody or brighten up anybody's day, I mean, that that's really what we want to do. Right. It's all said and done. I, I, I like that. I like being able to look at somebody and, and listen, nobody in this world may believe in you. Everybody may think you're full of shit, but I believe in you. Yep. And in my world, that's all that fucking matters. Yep. That's the way I Seriously. look at it. And it's not a, not a selfish thing. It, it, in my world, what I believe in is most important. And, and if I world, believe in you, that's all you need. You got yep. one motherfucker here that's saying, yo, dog, you can do it. Yep. So now you need to get on board of that and believe that you can do it. Right. And do it. And just quit worrying about what everybody else is going to think. Fuck them. Isn't it funny? This is another thing that uh, in the past year, uh, you know how we, we when we started, uh, in fact, we even took down the, the first episodes because we're like, oh, we, 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 we sound out of whack. We're not. Right, what are they going to think? Yeah, exactly. And uh, the more we've been doing it, the more comfortable we are. Fuck, I mean, I'm doing silly shit on TikTok that it, you would have told me a year <laughs> I ago. I love that. It. Hey, you're going to be doing stupid stuff on this site. I mean, hell, we didn't even want to say our real names at first. That's why right. we went by our nicknames, you know? Which, right, okay. that, like, that's where we were. We, we went uh, as far as, you know, I mean, you, you guys can listen to our beginning episodes and hear the difference between that and what we're doing now. Yeah. I mean, somewhere along the line, it just clicked. Right. It was like, fuck this, you know? Right. Like, I, I don't give two fucks. They can eat a dick. <laughs> a whole bag of them frogs. A whole that. big old bag of baby dicks. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll you know, say it. Oh, not only I that, am scared I mean, of you motherfuckers, huh? I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say out of all this thing, you know, out of cursory overload, I mean, obviously, uh, even the powerhouse ca basically it came out of there too. Cause I mean, you, you got me into this podcasting and I took the plunge and I started doing the, well, it was called the, the ghost Rider show at first, but uh, right. now that's part of it. And now we just ventured into something else, uh, tales from the guard shack. That's right. Which uh, uh, right now it's still in its baby stages, so you cannot get it on iTunes or. Um, yeah, it's just starting. It's just starting, so you have to either go to Spreaker or uh, go to our go to the pdgpodcast.com website, or go to cursoryoverload.com and go to the link section, and you'll find a button there for it. Right. So. So, and tales I mean, from the guard shack is is let's give let's give these motherfuckers a little something about what it's about. Everybody right. in this world at some point in time has come across a security guard. Yep. They're human too. Yep. They are probably one of the most made fun of careers out there. Now. In all fairness, though, there are some individuals that leave us wide open to that yeah, kind of fucking true criticism. That. I mean. True that. Yeah. But what Tales from the Guard Shack is, is it, it, it's a way for everybody, the, the common man or woman, to hear some of the stories that we've encountered or that other security officers have encountered in their job. In fact, yeah, we're going to, as we go along, I mean, we're going to tell you true stories that, you know, regular security guards who have made, uh, you know, they have saved lives. I mean, let's just face it. There are some people that are walking today on this earth because a couple security guards decided to do CPR on some kid right. and... You know, or, or some security guard was at, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, is at the right place. Well, not the right place, but took action and stopped the girl from getting raped. You know, girl was uh, running and they found him. In fact, uh, yeah. we at one point in time, we worked with this kid. 
Right. Another one was so just like, doing his normal patrol, stop somebody from committing suicide. Hmm. This, these are the things. And then there's, of course, there's a bunch of stupid shit. Like, yeah, like the stupid funny stuff. Guards who do shit, right. funny shit on TikTok. Like, horribly funny shit that's happened. Randomly horrible funny shit. But it's the way this, uh, we want this as a medium for, for the common person to, I don't know, maybe get to know. Understand that, yeah. the people that work in this field. And basically to all you motherfuckers and motherfuckerettes that work in this field, we want we want to be the ones that uh, you know uplift you and tell you that hey you know we get you're you. not alone we got you. <laughs> mm-hmm. we've been there we've walked in them shoes and in fact uh, most of the time we still walk in them we still shoes. do <laughs> like I Welcome. said so uh, like I said the stories will say for 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 that show but we just wanted to put it out there I mean we've uh, we've not just grown from you know. Uh, what I'm saying is we've uh, pretty much branched out into other other shows. Right. You know, other which, shows, other other mediums, uh, you know. Yep. We're all, we're, 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 and it all, well, I guess it all stems from the two of us just saying, you know what, fuck it. This sounds like fun. Let's do cursory overload. Let's put it out there. Because God damn it, we bullshit enough together when yeah. we're around each other at work. You know, outside of work. Fuck it. We were, we were bullshit. Whenever we're, we're near each other, we're bullshitting. Yeah. So I well, might as well just put a fucking mic to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why not, right? Fuck it. So, <sighs> anyways, that's enough nice and nice bullshit. Yeah. Let's get into some heart and soul of the show. All right. So, y'all know I love going to the fucking movies. Mm-hmm. Likewise, I went to the movies. All right, I went and saw. Now, y'all have to give me give me a little bit here. First, let me let me preface this. I got horribly sick last couple of week and a half. I have been down. Y'all ain't heard from me. That's why I got horribly Mm -hmm. sick. So my moving my movie watching that's been curtailed. Everything I've been down hard. One hundred and three, one hundred and four degree temperature, the whole nine yards. Yep. So, anyways. Went to the movies, went and saw Mary Poppins Returns. Oh, wow. That's on my to-do list. Holy fuck. Not only is Mary Poppins as hot as she's ever been, the movie fucking kicked so much ass. It was so good. It was was like walking into the you know that happy feeling after you get done with your old lady or old man or however it is you know <laughs> you get that happy go that slappy kind of happy p- point that's where it's at that movie is in that area it's oh, in that happy area it's right in that area yeah where, where i watched the whole time i'm watching this with a huge cheesy fucking big ass ear to ear grin on my face all righty just happy. I was. I enjoyed it. It was fun. I laughed. I, I, I you know, swooned over Mary Poppins because she is perfectly, nearly perfect in every way. Practically oh. perfect in every way. Hmm. Ah, damn. The so, movie is okay. You know, you're just confirming what I thought when I saw the trailer. I saw Emily Blunt. I'm like, I think she's pulling it off. And you're just confirming it. Yeah, really it it, it, it takes you to it takes you way back to the original. It takes you to all those places you're familiar with, but not those exactly. You, you words, go watch it. You guys will know what I'm talking about when you see it. So it takes and, you to a familiar place, but yet it shows you something new. Right, bingo. Mm, Very right. well said. Well, it's uh, listening to that Kevin Smith guy. You know, <laughs> face off. I like I like him. Hey, same here. Like I said, he's well. He he, he directs the Flash and Supergirl. Come on. What's well, he's. A, like? I read one of his books, and that's what gave me the idea. Or let me rephrase that. I had I had had this idea for a while, but after I read his book, that's when I had the stones to actually talk to people about my idea of doing this show. You know what? Uh, like I said, this this has been well. It's been therapeutic for me. And like I said, it's been it's been it's been a hell of a ride. I mean, it's a pretty. We've been doing this for a year, brother. A year. 
a fucking year we've been doing this and i i feel like we can we we're we're doing things that we wouldn't do before like like i i have no fucking uh like nowadays i mean like we just fucking get on on a mic and talk something right. that before would have been like uh, <laughs> excuse me oh man no i don't want to do <laughs> Listen, I just told the whole fucking world that that Mary Poppins was fucking awesome. <laughs> let, let, let's be realistic. Mary Poppins is fucking awesome. He, and I'm talking about the original. And I hey, can't I see it. this one. I mean, I, I, I've i heard several people say the same thing. I mean, you know, um, fuck, uh, who, uh, God, not just Joe Rogan. There was some other guy that said that Put, he's putting this movie as one of his top ten, really all time favorites. And I was, it was on Twitter. I can't remember who did. I, I, it I love Joe Rogan's. Joe Rogan loved the movie. Yeah, he tweeted something along the lines of like, "Excellent movie or awesome movie. Come at me, bro, and no, I'm not high. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not high. Wow. No, I." Like I said, when I saw the trailers, I saw like, okay, it looks like she's going to pull it off. And it, it looked good. I mean, because you're, you're seeing the character, Mary Poppins. Right. You know, it's the, a lot of people were complaining that, no, you shouldn't touch it. And, you know, nobody can replace uh, Julie Andrews. And, uh, well. No, they did an awesome job. They, and the yeah. fact that they kept the characters, the the children, are growing mm. up now, which oh. is awesome. All oh, right, spoiler which alert, is, right there. But uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, it's not a big thing. But oh, no, yeah, it's all gravy. I mean, you know, if you're listening, uh, you got you got options, motherfucker. You can uh, click. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna ruin it. I'm just gonna say that's in any fucking. Yeah, you know, I was thinking for the new year. I mean, yeah, we're not obviously we're not gonna ruin new movies, but if the movie's been out for twenty years, come on. Let, let, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about it. <laughs> right. I mean. Let's see. What else did I see? I saw the new Grinch. Yes. Same here. <sighs> now, I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, um, well, uh, let's, let me say Jim Carrey's Grinch is still king. Yeah. I, I mean, he wasn't Grinchy enough. Now, uh, uh, I gave it a chance because obviously you know it's Scott Moe, you know from Smartcast, right? I mean, him and Kevin Smith. So, I mean, I liked that it. it was okay, but I was like, okay, you got CGI now, you can pull all kinds of stunts, and nobody in the real world will get hurt. Right. That Grinch can really do some shit now, and uh, I don't know that that. that and a lot of people said the same thing. Not yeah, I, I just, I wasn't into it. Um, I mean, I can't think of a single line, you know, not one, you know, movie. with uh, Jim Carrey's Grinch. Uh, I can think of a lot of uh, things he said that, uh, you know, stick to your brain. You know, they with here, not one of the lines. I mean, seriously. Yeah. I don't know. I just I wasn't into it. Not one bit. I tried too, but well, I mean the fact that he went grocery shopping every month down there, and you know, Mister Grinch. I was like, right. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm good. I mean, yeah, he did. They did do a new approach. You know, obviously, uh, Cindy Lou, whose family was not the traditional family anymore. It was a single mom. Yeah. The type thing, which I don't know. Did, was it me or did it look like the Grinch was like hooking up with the mom? Yeah, I was wondering if she was getting herself some of that green fur. You know, it, it, it kind of like hinted towards that, but, you know. Now, that that's a porn I wouldn't mind seeing. Mm, Cindy shit. Lou Who's mom and the Grinch going at it. That that would be kind of interesting. Okay. I think that would be more interesting than the, than the movie was. Yeah, I like I said, it's it's one of those. Uh, I, I I was not very impressed with it, but no. I mean, it made a lot of money just because it was the Grinch, and it, right. they released it right around Christmas. Right, smart move. I mean, 
they, I was listening to some shows uh, 